Hey guys, what's up? You probably all heard of Facebook Home. So what is Facebook Home? Facebook Home is a custom launcher from Facebook which totally revolutionizes your user interface on your Android device. Right now, Facebook Home is available for certain devices only like the Galaxy S3, the upcoming Galaxy S4, the Galaxy Note 2, and the HTC One and HTC One X. However, I'm going to show you guys how to get Facebook Home on your Samsung Galaxy S2 and probably other devices too. So stay tuned for that. Hi again. So first things first, we've got to download two files. One is a zip file and an APK file. The zip file has to be extracted and uh, we have to transfer these three APK files in total onto your Samsung Galaxy S2. Again, you don't, your phone doesn't need to be rooted, it can be unrooted, and it can be also on a different ROM. So first things first, we're going to head over to the folder where we downloaded these two files. So we've got a, f a file which is named fb underscore home, and the other one is com.facebook.orca.apk. And um, we're going to extract the fb home RAR file. And as you can see, we have a total of three APK files. We've got Home, Kat Katana, and Orca. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste those three APK files onto your Samsung Galaxy S2. So make sure we have to connect it via micro USB. Put that aside. And we're gonna copy and paste these three files onto your SD card, the root of your SD card or wherever you want to place them, it's your choice. So it's successful. So once that's done, remove your micro USB cable, head over to settings, scroll down and let's look for security. I missed it, there it is, security. Uh, scroll down and make sure you've got unknown sources ticked. So the reason why we're doing this is that because we are not downloading from the Play Store officially and uh, we're going to be installing it uh, from the SD card directly. So once uh, we've checked unknown sources in the security settings of your Galaxy S2, uh, we're going to, we have to uninstall Facebook. So we can go back to settings again, head over to application manager, look for Facebook, uninstall, okay. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to uninstall also Messenger, which is also a Facebook app. So as you can see, I just un uninstalled my Facebook app and my Messenger app. And so the next step you have to do is to head over to the app drawer. We're going to head over to My Files or your favorite file explorer. Select the location where you saved or you copied and pasted those three APK files. And we're going to install it one by one. So let's head over and let's install Facebook first. Hit install. Give it a few seconds. And don't click open, click done. Head over to Facebook Home APK, the second one. Install. Hit done again. And the last one, which is the Messenger or also known as Orca. Click install. I don't know where they came up with these code names, these app code names for these apps for the Facebook Messenger, Facebook Home, and the regular Facebook app. Hit done again. Head over back to your home screens. Go back to the app drawer, select home. And we're going to sign up, I mean sign in. So I'll be back once it's fully signed in. So it's as soon as you sign in to your Facebook account, give it a few seconds. Again, be patient, please. And um, of course, we're going to close this 
going to skip and I don't want to sync my friends with my contacts click done and it should load up the regular uh, Facebook application so let's go back to the home screen hit apps again select home and this time you can select home if you just want to try it once just click just once but if you would like to keep Facebook home um, you can select always you can always change this later on guys don't worry about this so it should be loading up Facebook home right now it's gonna get it's gonna get the latest uh, feed your news feed and it will be displaying it as on your lock screen so all the image latest images or updates from your friends will be displayed here and here we go guys we've got Facebook home officially on a Samsung Galaxy S2 so we can easily go through and um, you can easily like uh, status by double tapping you can even make a comment here let's write something like cool send back and we, there's our favorite app screen and we can scroll to the left to see all our apps hit back hit back again so we can drag our profile picture we can go back to the apps which I just showed you go back to the touch with user interface of Samsung or head over to messenger so that's basically about it and this has been the Facebook home on the Samsung Galaxy S2 if you've got any questions or comments or hesitations or even suggestions feel free to ask them in the comments below and thanks for watching